<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, UMG Orlando. Oh, we're just giving the crowd some love. Love this crowd. Here yeah, they've UMG. been great the whole weekend. They've been awesome, you know. Uh, just chanting and, and, you know, getting loud for some good plays. And speaking of good plays, we've seen so many good plays here at UMG Orlando. We thought Columbus was great. I remember when I was trying to make my top five plays, Matt was kind of yeah. like, I don't even know where to start. Here, we've had 1v3s, we've had 1v4 clutches, we've had unbelievable kill streaks. we've seen some sick play, just everything, Matt. It, it's been a fantastic event. Well, I mean, you can uh, clip that Krim hard point on retreat and put oh, that in your yeah. top five right away. I, mean, I, don't think <laughs> you, I don't think that one really needs to be thought about. Right now, we have Scump on one team against everybody else, so it's not going to work. Okay, here we go. This is hey, more like it. There we go. 4v4. <laughs> that was played. Yeah, that, that does make it a little bit better. Um, of course, we went to a listening with Optic Gaming in the hard point. But what I want to do at the start of this CTF I love is actually get to listen in with Stunner, simply because I want to see how they're communicating now after that 6-1 demolition of Optic in Search and Destroy. Got me. Purple. Got me purple. Turn purple. Turn purple. Turn purple. Yo, he's in blue, he's in blue. Nice, he's dead, he's dead. Yo, he got me. Formal, formal, formal. Top purple. Top from bottom purple. Purple push out. Purple, crim. Oh, he's gonna pull, he's gonna pull. Yeah, he is. I got. Oh, fuck. Where are they pulling? Where are they pulling? They're, they're pulling green. Oh, are they? Pull, 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 green. Pull, pull, pull. You want me to pull? Yeah. Yo, mid bottom, mid bottom. Pull the green, pull the green. I got one, I got one, I got one. Orange tube, yeah, orange tube. Orange, missed my knife. Oh, fuck. Let's go, baby. Oh, Get three. Shit. No, down low snow, down low snow. One hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. Four of them. Let's go, Tom. Tom, I have him in bio. Yo, green. just slay, slay with the slay with the flag. Oh, bottom the base, bottom the base. Come green, come green, come green, guys. That's one. No, ice top 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 ice top 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 dead. Top top dead. I got nice. two, I got two. Let's go, go for the flag. Yeah. Alright, man. I think one guy's already on our base. Yeah. On the bio, yeah, he, he is. is. He's on their base, on the base. Two, two, one two. Guys on base. One guy's on our base. Else. One's bottom orange. Bottom orange, nature. Alright, good job. They're killing up. Oh, no. Oh, Alright, stun bottom green, stun bottom green, stun bottom green. Two mid bio, two mid bio, two mid bio. I got one, I got one. Side green. Oh, one shot from Elbow, elbow, elbow. I got one elbow, I got one. That's, that's no, the sorry, three, that's three. Let's get Scump. He's one in, he's one in. Scump, pick up green, pick up green on spawn. Oh, that's you, my bad. Scump pick up scump green, set, pick up green, scump pick up green. I'm going green. You picking up, Luke? No. I got green, I got green. What's what, what, green? One spawn green. Let's go, baby. Let's go, that's two, three, two, three. No, 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 no. Oh. Green, green, Scump got me. He went elbow, he went elbow. Everybody with the flag, everybody with the flag. I'm off the flag. Yo, stop purple, guys. I got him, I got him, I got him. Let's go. Go big. No, there's two, there's two, two I'm green. Going for the flag, two I'm going green. for the flag, stay with him. Yo, come, come down, come down, you should come down. Where you, I'll stop blue, I think. Alright, if he is, come towards me. Trying to hold bottom, 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 bottom. I'm holding one There's two over bottom there. Blue in the I think you're stunning, you're stunning. I have it, I have it. Right. I'm watching blue. Yo, bottom blue. I got one, I got one. Bottom blue, one shot. I'm going for the flag. He's just camping there. He's in blue. Another one there, another Dead. one there. Scump, scump, scump with the flag. Scump with the flag. I'm gonna push out blue, I'm gonna push out blue. Purple, purple, purple. Flag, flag guy, one shot. Purple, dead, dead, dead. Get the ring. No, no, there's I one more, there's I one can. more. What yeah, are we looking for? No, Matt, an extremely long stalemate situation right now in CTF Biolab. Things getting a little tense. Um, you hear the boys are stunning, not really getting pumped, but really trying to concentrate as hard as they can. That flag looking as if it could actually be returned in the minimap. It's picked up once again. It's going to be Crim6. Uh, Crim6 turns around. Can he get the kill? No, he can't. That flag will be returned, and the first flag will go in for Stunner, giving them a 1-0 lead. But that was reminding me of the MW3 days of CTF, where you just had stalemates. We could last the full side. That was very, very slow indeed. And so right now, TJ looking to try and pull the flag once again. He is going to fall. Formal has stunned his flag as well, Matt. And it's looking like he may try and stay his way out, but he falls once again. Yeah, but I don't think they get the flag return, Ben. As you're going to see Scump pick that up, he's going to be chased by Hook right here. Not able to get him, but uh, it looks like they're going to try and fight this with flag. Flag down again, back to base. Stunner doing a good job on the defensive. That was definitely one of the longest stalemates I've ever seen. It was, yeah, especially in advanced warfare. Yeah. The game's so fast paced, but both the teams playing it very, very slow, dedicating three plays each to defend that flag carrier and only one player pushing. Nate shot, he's gonna fall mid map. Stumpy's 12 and 6 though, so he's off to a good start. Last one minute, 15 seconds, four plays from off the gaming go down. Huke's gonna be pulling that flag. However, there is a play from off the gaming directly behind him. It's Crip. He picks up one, he picks up two, and he gets that flag return as well. Nicely done from Crip. Yeah, that was really poorly played right there from Stunner. You know, the player in front of uh, Hook in mid-bio lab needed to turn around and watch his back. There's no reason to watch the front by purple. You had just right. 
all four players. Yeah, he, he couldn't have gotten there that fast. He should have either went through that middle area and you know, tried to cut off the overextension or just watch his back as he pulled that mid bio. Nate shot's gonna fall. Four and 13 start for him. He's definitely gonna need to pick things up in that second side. Of course, 40 seconds left of round one. CTF by that here in the grand final. Being Orlando Fomo with some amazingly accurate shots right there. Picks up his eighth kill. Vex is still gonna be in there, but you see Scumpy actually picked that up. And uh, Optic Gaming trying to mount maybe one last push with 30 seconds left. But in fact, Formal decides, nope, he wants to just backtrack and make sure his flag is a pull. Tagged up from the side, and Nature does go for a pull, but so does TJ Halley. Nailey's actually gone down, and uh, TJ could actually be able to cap this flag. Yeah, and I was going to say, yeah, Optic couldn't get desperate here in the last 30 seconds, try and go for a pull. Uh, no way he's going to get, get it, but oh, actually, he's going to go down. It's going to be one player from Stunner in position. It's going to be perplexed, and is he going to be able to get this one? Nana Once again, no! Oh! He went for the power and boost, and he doesn't get it. You see him. He thought he had it. He thought he had it, but he, but he was not able to get that. 0.1 second too late. The Plex picked up the kill. Just unfortunately could not pick up that cap right at the very end. That boost jump actually, uh, I don't think it helped him. If he did dash forward, he may have been enough to get that. To get yeah, it. just the knee slide. If he dashed forward, he might have been able to get that. But I think it really started where TJ went down the middle instead of going right. towards purple. If he went through purple, he had another teammate there. Could have been in support if he was taken out right away. A little bit faster, would have been able to pick that up. I'll take gaming getting a little bit of uh, look on that side. Uh, is it the hop? It's still just a one flag deficit. Could have been two if it was 0.5 seconds longer. Full place from Optic go down. And right now, no one in a position to pull the flag just yet. Yeah, it's going to be uh, Vex. He's actually going to try and pull flag. Green flat, but, you know, down 1-0 in this CTF, Ben. I want to go on a listen in with Optic Gaming to see, you know, how they're going to bring this back. I'm bottom hut. I'm bottom hut. I spawn green. Oh, top their base. Top their base. Two top hold their on, base. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to Top their base. Top their base. I need help. Hold on, hold on. Step, step, step. And purple, purple. Purple on top of their base. So yeah, purple yeah, on top of their base. They're bottom flag. They're bottom flag. Watch stuff. out back steps, dude. Guys, they're playing D. Yeah, yeah. Just, just hide. Just hide for a sec. Hide for a sec. Nice. So, that was big. He's in our blue, in our blue, in our blue to our flag. He's gonna pull, he's gonna pull. Let's go. One on our flag, son. We're gonna bind you, one's bind you for One's on our flag, one's on our flag, one's on our flag, by blue. One outside, outside green also, outside green also. Top blue. Blue. I think two spawn green. No, what the? Blue then. Uh, spawn green, okay, good job, that's fine, that's fine. I just gotta let right. spawn. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's above me, he's above me somewhere. I, I don't know where he dropped. Off the base, off the base. All right, I'm going orange tunnel. Off the base, one hit. Off the oh, base, orange tunnel, watch out, orange tunnel, watch out. Dude, I keep on you gotta go big. I'm on, I'm on the circle, I'm on the circle. All right, we got three minutes. We got a lot of time, we got a lot of time, boys. One's in square. Yeah, yeah in, square, in, square, in, square, in square, in square, in square, in square. Two in square, two in square. Guys, we're, we're playing yeah, yeah, really yeah, weird. Chill, we chill, can't chill, be OE in both screen. We got it. All right, we're good. Orange tunnel, orange tunnel. Orange tunnel, top their base. we gotta stay live at our base. Top their base, one shot, top their base, one shot. One guy was orange tunnel. Blue side, blue, blue side. That's two. Which one's that? Three. Nice! Three. Let's go in the flag, let's go in the flag. Let's go in the flag. They're playing hella deep. All right, listen. Let's go in the flag. He went top Eskies. Do our normal setup. I'll get pulls out. Let's go, boys. This guy went towards top Eskies. There's one there, top Eskies. He's near orange tunnel. Top their base, top their base, top their base, and green, and green. Uh, top their base, top their base. Go base. Nice, one more top their base. You ready, you ready? He's top Eskies, top Eskies. Top Eskies. Eskies. They, uh, they might nice. spawn nice. green, they might spawn green. Orange tunnel, orange tunnel, orange tunnel. Nice, they win. Nice. They win. nice, Ian. Pull orange tunnel, pull orange tunnel, pull to me, pull to me. No, he got oh, me, orange tunnel, orange tunnel. Good, good, Free fire. They're all there, they're all yeah, wrapping, they're, they're wrapping, wrapping their back. They're, oh, they're, they're always, they're always, gonna keep wrapping their back. OE, purple, OE, purple, every spot. One shot their base, one shot their base. Yeah, hold on, hold on, I'll get him, I'll get him. Top the base, one shot, top the base, one shot, absolute. Three, top the base, I got one, one more there. Let's go! Let's go! Top the base, top the base, top the base, he dropped down bottom Eskies. Back stairs, back stairs, back stairs! Back stairs and behind you, Seth, behind you, Seth. Let's guys, Eskies, 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 somewhere. You got help, you got help. I got him, I got him, go, go, go. Might be behind me, might be behind me. I got, don't get blue cut, I got a bit. Yeah, I'm watching blue cut, I got blue cut. Square, 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 square. Blue cut looks like. I'm trying to get top. He's in purple, he's in purple. Green got him. Watch, watch cut now. Green crane, fuck green crane. He's running in, running in. One more. He's going for it, he's going for it. All good, all good. One more on our flag. Nice job. All right, three dead, three dead. We gotta OE to their base. They're gonna be top. They're gonna be top their base. And top Essies. He's top their base. Oh, that's dead body. That's dead body. Top their base. Top their base. Top their base. Guys, come on. Top their base. 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 Back snow. Back snow. Back snow. Back snow. Back snow. All right. Coming off that listening with Optic Gaming, Ben. You know. I gotta wonder why they started overextending so early. I mean, you know, five minutes, yep. uh, they had a full round right here, and they started overextending right away, getting a little bit desperate going one-on-one -on -one towards the base. Didn't really understand that. Yeah, you can see huge 
we mentioned this earlier on, whenever he plays CTF, he just plays so defensive. He's just that last man, and it's such an issue. Optic Gaming really struggling at, at trying to pull that flag. They had a couple of attempts, and Nature got so close, wasn't able to cap it. Minute 33 still to go. Nature pushing up, picks up one. Gonna get that flag now, can he get away? You see Optic Gaming putting a lot of pressure on Perplex. He's gonna pick up one. Nature still trying to run across Snow. He may actually be okay here if he can cut through purple. His teammate's gonna not win that gunfight, actually. That was formal, but Nature's just gonna go for it. Teammate needs to cover his right hand side. Nate goes down. Crim6, is he in a position to get the kill from long range? No, he's not. And Vex is gonna get that flag away. Yeah, and it's the same issue. You know, they're able to get the flag all the way out, but nobody's ever watching their own flag. So they're able to have three players from center get right to that flag, make those stops. Big play from Nature. Gonna delay that flag, it's gonna be Vex. Vex is up top, and that flag will be returned. Now, can Nature start something? Can he go for the flagpole? Looking for the kill on TJ. TJ's gonna jump down and ta challenge him. Actually wins that gunfight. Meanwhile, Crim6 desperately trying to pick up more kills. He's gonna go down as well. And Optic, in the last 40 seconds, Matt, just need to compose themselves and go for one really, really well-structured push. Yeah, I completely agree. I don't really understand why they started overextending right away, but no, they've already committed to that choice. They're going to have to go for it right now, and I would like to see them pull flag out Snow right here and just pull it straight at the two players from Stunner. Well, both those kills actually going down. Krim, he's going to pull it straight down the middle. Now, one play again. The cuts is going to be Nature. Picks up one. There's a player actually directly behind him, and he didn't actually need to go for that shot. However, vexed. Is he going to get stunned? Yes, he is. 13 seconds left, and Krim6 gets the capture. That's going to level up the game. And Matt, we're going to be going over to some overtime. Yeah, that was an absolutely huge play right there from Krim. Able to score that flag with about 15 seconds left. Going to force this OT. I, I don't want to say think, necessarily got lucky, but they, I they, they pulled that, that one out that pretty crazy. That was perplexed crazy. who actually got that kill on Nature. He should have just kept going. He, if he didn't get that kill, Krim wouldn't have known he was going to be there. Because the only reason Krim threw that stun out in the first place was because obviously Nature pulled that out to Krim. If he plays that a little bit smarter, he could have got that kill and they could have won that game. If he would have just snuck by and not have right. shot at Nade and you know, got to that back of blue, he might have been able to kill two players right there and buy his team some time to get over towards that uh, flag, try and make a play, but not able to do so, did not play it that way, so we are going to go into OT. So, overtime here in the grand final. Of course, it's all tied up 1-1 one, one in maps, and Star would need to win two best of fives to take the UMG Orlando Championship. Perplexed on your screens, though. Is going to pick up one. He's 28 and 23. Huke 27 and 21. Those two guys putting up massive digits. And surprise, surprise, Huke's going to play it passively. TJ tries to pull the flag. He's not going to get very far. The Plex now trying to push towards Crim6. He's going to go down as well. Stunner Vex is uh, not going to pick that one up, unfortunately. So everyone's just going to reset and play for map control once again. What's your opinion on Huke playing so defensively on this map? You know, we've seen it work earlier for them, but you know, against Optic Gaming in this series, you know how offensively minded they are and how aggressive they are. I don't think it's the right play. Especially not in overtime. I feel in overtime, if, you, if you're going to go for a flag, you need to, you know, push forward and give those cuts. He's just playing so passively that at times, you know, he's leaving his teammates to win 3v4s, you know, 2v3s, etc. That it, it kind of puts him at a disadvantage. But of course, it does give them that security blanket of making sure that, you know, no one from the Gaming is going to sneak through and pull that flag because, you know, it may not be the right play, but he's doing it very well, if that makes sense. Yeah, a little bit. It makes, uh, it makes a little bit of sense. You know, he's doing this very well, playing this defensive role. But like you also said, you know, leaving his teammates out to play 3v4, basically, in the OG base, trying to get those flags. It's going to make it extremely difficult. And obviously, you know, Hugh, probably the second best slayer on this team. I think TJ Haley, obviously, you know, being the other main slayer. They're really losing a lot of that raw gun skill around right. the OG base. And you see Hugh is just going to be on top of this green plot, waiting patiently above his own flag and oh hello one play to the left hand side it's gonna be scumpy scump dashes away Huke does pick up the kill however there's gonna be more players up to gaming gonna flood it can Huke pick up the second kill yes he can looks for the third gets the kill on Krim6 and that's what we're talking about Matt it may not be a, like uh, the best strategy but he just does it so well sometimes you just throw strategy out the window I mean that was pretty <laughs> ridiculous uh, uh, there's no explanation for that uh, OG gonna get three piece right there by Huke you know that would have been a pretty good flag pull if they were able to get it out but he's heating up on a four streak right now on a Five streak wow. bend, no, lighting it up with that bell. And the problem Optic Gaming is going to have is he's getting aggressive, pushing down that snow side. Perplexed is going to pick up that kill. He's going to go down. Vexed, once again, trying to push down snow. But Optic Gaming survived that push. 
from Stunner. Stunner gonna sit back and reset. TJ is gonna be on your screens for now as he hunts down some optic gaming players in their base. Jumps up, picks up one. Now looks for the second, goes for the flagpole, finds the second, gets the kill as well. And he looks like he's gonna opt to run it towards platform and he should actually be away. Looking at that minimap, only one play from optic gaming in a position to stop it. It's gonna be Scumpy. Scumpy picks up one. Can he find the flag carrier? No, he's not gonna be able to do so. And TJ is gonna get the capture. Two minutes, 46. Matt, not by any means the fastest flag we've ever seen, but with the way Huke is defending his own flag, Optic Gaming are really going to struggle to get a flag out. Yeah, you know, Scum stunned himself right there at the end, but I don't think it would have made a difference. I think TJ had already gotten beyond that right-hand wall, not able to, you know, pick up that kill regardless. But Ben, what I want to do is I want to go in and listen in during this uh, OT for Optic Gaming, you know, see if they can score this flag in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. One's chasing, one's chasing, top their base, top their base. I got one, let's go. Top their base, top their base, two top their base, two top their base. No, that's me, that's me, that's me. One guy on me, one guy on me. He's blue, go somewhere. Big winnie in, big winnie in. I have a flag out. Let's go, I stunned him. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. On me, on me, on me, on me, on me, guys. He's one shot, go for it. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, boy. Let's go, man. Let's go, bud. Seth, give me some, baby. You guys see this? Yeah. Let's go, baby. That's what I like to see. This is over. Come back up, link, man. It's over. Let's go! Oh, I played that fight so good. I hope you guys well, you heard it there from Scump himself. Come back up, Link. It's <laughs> over. An unbelievable CTF overtime there for the game. They didn't waste any time. Formal played it just smart enough to make sure he got that fight capture. And Scump dropped 40 and 27 that game, Matt. Phenomenal plays from him. Yeah, huge slaying out of Scump. But the one player by uh, Stunner, he had to you know, try and sneak around like we said they should have done that last time. But Formal able to put on the juke moves. And the, like Scump said, next map's going to be comeback uplink. So stay tuned. We're going to have map number four here in the grand finals.